Well, Michael, you've been here for a couple of days now. Just first of all, how have you found it so far? Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. It's been great to get back within a group, get all that banter going and, and seeing people working hard and having a laugh. And you missed out. I've been training on my own, so it's, it's, not, it's not been the same. So I've been really pleased to get in with a group. Group looks really fun. They look like they're enjoying their work, which is really, really important. And uh, obviously there's some serious work going on in terms of organisation ready for the, for the first game on Saturday. When did your move come about and what have your conversations with Danny Cowley been like? Yeah, it was late Monday night, um, got sorted really, really quickly um, and we were, we were ready to go Tuesday morning and then you know, I think it was important that you know, having not trained with a group, get, get some minutes that Tuesday night. So it was a, it was a real whirlwind, you know, I was up till about one o'clock the night before on the Monday and then it was a long day Tuesday uh, to make sure I got their minutes and you know, I spoke to Dan before on the Monday night and as soon as I spoke to him and I knew it was Portsmouth, it was it was a really exciting challenge that I wanted to take and then we've had other conversations following that, you know, about how, how the team dynamic is, how we can improve and how we can be the best version of ourselves. What do you think you can add to the team? You know, I think I want to add goals from the back. You know, I think it's really important that we score enough goals to get promoted and, you know, I fancy myself as a little goal scorer sometimes or a bit of a threat in the box. So I'd like to to contribute that way and, and obviously I've, I've played a lot of games, I've got a lot of experience to help people through, you know, not everybody's, you know, there's certain times when you might need to, to clear the ball and squeeze everybody up and, and just reading the game a little bit in terms of what the team might need and, and then helping everybody on and off the pitch as much as you can. So yeah, I think I bring, you know, a good set of experience, a calm head um, and, and know-how. You mentioned you've met the squad, you mentioned the experience. How much do you think you'll be able to help the likes of Haji Minogue and Liam, Vis Liam Vincent, some of our younger defenders? Yeah, they all, they all look like good lads ready to learn. So, you know, you want to earn their respect, um, get to know them, build relationships with them and then, you know, help them when you can on little tweaks with their game, whether that's positive, you know, you know it's not always telling people they're not doing things right. Right. Sometimes they're doing some brilliant stuff and motivating them to continue to keep doing them positive stuff that they're doing. Um, so yeah, it's just getting to know people. Everybody's different, um, and understanding how how they learn uh, and how and how they need to be treated. You've been a professional for 17 years of your life, and you've played over 600 career games. How important do you think your experience will be in the squad in the upcoming season? Yeah, it's something that you know uh, that I'm really proud of. Firstly, um, you know it's. Um, it's not easy to stay in the game for as long as that now. I've got a few friends that, that, that have stopped playing, so I'm really proud of that. And uh, I think it'll be really helpful. I think we've got a really good blend here of youth and experience, and that's what you need, um, you know, especially when you're trying to get over the line at the end of the season and possibly at the beginning of the season when you go into teams like Sheffield Wednesday, you might need to be a bit more pragmatic um, and keep everybody calm first 15, 20 minutes. Um, and just that game understanding which you can get that message being on the pitch once you cross that line it's very difficult for the staff to affect the game but as a player you know you can really help people on the pitch and I think that's what I'm here for um, and, and I can really help people. Now you've won League One twice and you've got the record points tally with Charlton what does it take to become champions? I think it's uh, you know consistency in performance um, and then it's goals I think you you know you have to be organised at the back but the more firepower you have, the best opportunity it gives you at this level. And I think we've got some, you know, when I look through the team, there's some really exciting players that can that can cause a lot of problems and going to score goals. And I think that's the biggest threat that you, that you need to have to get out of the league. You alluded to it earlier, the season starts on Saturday at Hillsborough against your former club. How much are you looking forward to that one? Yeah, yeah the first game of the season is always special. You know, it's excitement, people, you know, expectation, uh, ambition from everybody. You know, there's that real... You know, it's, it's real excitement. You remember always when you look back at your career, you always remember the first game of every season, or I do certainly. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited to be involved in it. It was one of them things that I was really worried about when you're out of contract. You're like, oh, I'm going to miss the first game of the season. So, you know, the first game of the season, exciting, let alone being at, at Hillsborough, that I'm sure will be packed. You know, it's the, the games, that's why we're all professional footballers, because you want to play in them games. And I'm, you know, I'm really excited for it. How much are you looking forward to seeing a packed out away end? Yeah, it'd be great to see the fans every, every time, you know, all the messages I've said, what, you know, what great place it is, what great fans Portsmouth have got. So I'm really looking forward to that. And um, just finally, what's the mood in the camp like ahead of the League One opener on Saturday? I think everybody feels really positive. Um, you know, it's a good atmosphere. Everyone is having, feels like they're, you know, it's a love, like a light, nice place to work where everybody loves coming into work, which is really important. I think you always get the best out of people when they enjoy what they're doing. Um, it seems like everybody's enjoying it. Um, it's hard work. Everybody said it's been a hard pre-season. 
um, and they're all fit, ready to go. And it feels like a really good atmosphere around the place.